All right, I'm gonna answer the question, am I in perimenopause? How do I know? How do I know? What age does this happen? Is this happening for me right now? Um, is it gonna happen soon? That type of a thing, right? This is a question that a lot of gals have as sometimes as early as their late 30s through their 40s and even into their early 50s, right? And if you look at some of the actual definitions of what menopause is, Technically, it's going to be classified you are in and have reached menopause when you have been one full calendar year, that's a full 12 months, without having a period, without bleeding, right? Without, without a period. Yes. Yes. Then you're in menopause. But before that, anyone's guess? Anyone? You can have a period once every six months for five years. Oh, it's got to be period menopause. We don't know. We don't know what's happening. That's not, that's not helpful, right? And oftentimes if you're gonna get blood labs drawn, they will say, well, it's, we are within range. You're within range for this is normal. Yep, because their range is enormous. When we're doing a Dutch test, when we are looking at your urine test for comprehensive hormones, we are looking at a narrowed range and then we actually take into account where you're at in your cycle. And if you're like, I don't know, it's been months, then we look at that too. We look at that too. There's somebody, and this uh, this video was inspired by somebody who I worked with recently, and she was at her wit's end. Now she had a lot of other issues going on in her system, right? There were um, there were some problems with her gut. There were sleep issues, tons of stress, tons and tons of stress, and she was super fatigued. And so there's a lot of stuff for us to work on, right? But one of the first things that we had to dive into was just to understand where her body was at. Now, I do talk about some of the nutrient things and other things that you can look at in terms of your body. And I talk about some of these phasic things in my book, The Female Fat Solution. And there's also other info in my book, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon where you can pick them up. I've also done podcast episodes on this on my podcast, The Female Health Solution. And I have a lot of other content posted and you can subscribe to my YouTube um, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But when we look at some of these things here, look at and dive into the hormone testing for her. And I looked at her levels and she said, I just, I've, I had a period of a few months ago before that it was two months after that. And then it was two weeks. She's like over the past year, my period's been all over the place. So I've got to be in perimenopause. She's like, I'm in my late forties. You know, this is it. And I said, listen, some of this can be, um, impacted of course, by your your genetics so like do you know when your mom went into menopause you know you can go into menopause around the same age do you have any other health issues your stress levels right chronic stress means that you'll typically enter menopause earlier so that's actually a huge factor and there were some things where i was like yeah this really isn't you know fitting or whatever and i said plus let's go over your report let's look at your hormones and what they're doing what we actually what i actually found was that she had severe adrenal issues bad adrenal issues. And when we actually looked at her adrenals and started focusing on getting her system functioning better, so she got her period back regularly. She started having a, a fairly clockwork cycle. Again, it wasn't perfect. She still had a lot of work stress that was impacting her. It took a few months, but she started having a period between every 28 to 30 days, which is very regular by a lot of people's standards. Instead of having it, you know, once every three months, willy-nilly everywhere, right? And that going on for almost a year. All of a sudden, she started having regular period again. And she was like, I thought I was in perimenopause. I thought I was going into menopause. The weight gain, the fatigue, all this other stuff. She's like, that's what it, it's like everything I looked at. And everybody I talked to, they said, you must be going into menopause. And I said, from what I'm seeing, from what your hormone levels are, you're not close. But what I am seeing is big adrenal issues. So let's focus on the right thing and get your body functioning better so you feel better and her cycle came back. Now that's not the case for everybody, right? That's not the case for every single person. And it would be really important to understand what your body is doing. So if you have questions, if you wanna dive into this, if you're like, yeah, I, I don't know about this for me. Am I in perimenopause? How do I know? What do I do about this? Go below this video, click the link to schedule a free consult call with my team. That way you can understand more about what the right next steps for you would be. If you want more information on the Dutch test, you can also click on the link there as well. If you're like, yes, I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to do this. Awesome. Click that link, get your Dutch test sent right to you. Then we can look at your results, go over what you have going on and really make the best plan and next steps for you moving forward. 
So that's what I got for you today. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always comment on this video. If you're not comfortable commenting, you could always send me a private message.